Hi, welcome back. Today we are going to build up our skills on how to compose and decompose fractions. And this grumpy kitty is going to help us. Oh goody, can't wait. We can represent fractions using area models, sets, and number lines. All of these models show the fraction, 3 fourths. How do you know? The numerator represents three parts shaded, and the denominator represents the four total equal parts. In this video, we will be looking at specific types of fractions called unit fractions. The numerator in a unit fraction is always 1. And the denominator is the total number of equal parts. In this model, the shaded piece is one unit fraction. Each of these unit fractions can be written as one fifth. We can represent this area model with the sum of unit fractions that make up all the shaded parts. That means you add them all up. That's right. And when we add up all the unit fractions in this model, we get 5 fifths, which is... One whole. Right again. We just decomposed the fraction of 5 fifths into a sum of unit fractions. You mean we took the fraction apart? Yep. Decompose means to take it apart, and compose means put it together. Let's compose a fraction now. What is the sum of the unit fractions below? 1 fourth plus 1 fourth. Let's use a model to help us. We have a circle divided into fourths and each part represents 1 fourth. Since we are adding two 1 fourths together, two parts of the model are shaded. If we add the numerators, we get 2. 1 fourth plus 1 fourth equals 2 fourths. Grumpy Kitty, you are really good at composing and decomposing fractions. I bet you had fun too. Only a little. But don't tell anyone. Thanks for joining us. Keep practicing.